Hey everyone, so this video is going to cover the basics of our Shimpo Aspire tabletop wheels that we have at my high school. Um, I have floor model wheels that are Pacifica and Brent, and then I have a half a dozen or so of the tabletop wheels. Sometimes when I get a larger class, we have to add some kids to the tabletop wheels. But this semester, uh, we have limited class sizes, and we have a whole bunch of kids that are getting quarantined. So I am able to send home the tabletop wheels with the kids who are getting quarantined because of proximity of to someone that had COVID. So this video is for uh, my students and anyone else who wants to learn a little bit more about the Shimpo Aspire tabletop wheels. First of all, I want to talk about the control panel here. So you can see that there is an on off switch that will glow when it is on the uh, foot pedal cord. Uh, is plugged in there. Students, this should be left plugged in. And then of course you have the electrical cord that gets plugged into the outlet. Okay, now you can see that the motor unit kind of sticks up, it protrudes a little bit, but truly it doesn't get in the way unless you're doing something very large like a platter. So students, I would tell you, don't bother trying to do the platter project at home, just wait and do that. Uh, when you are not in quarantine and you're back here at school. Now it does have a one-piece splash pan which is really cute and it's small. Um, it goes on and off by rotating it. You can see it has little tabs and then it has little receptacles here with a slot on one side. You can only put it in from one side, okay? You know it's on there when it's underneath those those little tabs. Um, please make sure that you're referring to the information about the safety of uh, clay that I have linked in the video description. Students, this is on your learning plan at school, just so you're not dumping clay down your drain that will clog your pipes or anything. Now, these little tiny wheel heads do have bat pins in them, and I'm providing you students with uh, a few bats. Now, I do have these uh, Wonder Bats, they're Masonite, or I don't know if they're masonite, they're pressed wood bats. And I also have some of these plastic bats that are made for the Shimpo Aspire wheel. Uh, these have a smaller circle and then an elongated oval. When you go to put this on, you want to get the circle part on first and then push the oval on. So circle first, then oval. Make sure that it's not rocking. If it is rocking, that means it's not down far enough and you might have to like pound it a little bit, okay, to get that to be on there. Now for the masonite bats, they have little rubber grommets on their holes. Uh, what you might find is when you put this on is that sometimes these are a little harder to get them to seat properly. So you might wanna pound them, press on them, anything like that. But I'm going to show you what often happens. So you can see that by um, uh, like even pushing down really hard, sometimes you get a little bit of a wobble and I can push down harder again in just a minute. But this is a little trick that I've got for you. So take a paper towel, like a regular, you know, paper towel that you would have in your kitchen, moisten it and then fold it in half put it between the bat pins. I want to make sure it's not on top of the bat pin. Okay, it should be flat. And then I can go ahead and put these back on. I'm going to line them up. Okay, and then I'm going to pound really hard. Okay, and then after you have the paper towel down on there and you pound pretty hard, it usually does not rock. Like this is no longer rocking. Okay, so that's a little trick to keep that bat from kind of rocking back and forth because that will be very annoying for you. Now, when you are throwing, I throw standing up with these. Some people might put them on a low table and they might sit on a chair to do that. You can if you want. But I usually stand up, and this is just at table height for me, 
And the nice thing about throwing while standing is, see this lower part? I can actually set my right elbow on there. So when I'm throwing, um, I, can, I can use that as support. Also, perhaps I will kind of lock my left elbow to my hip. So again, I'm locked. I'm uh, pushing down with my right elbow against this as I'm uh, throwing and then my left is going to be locked there as well. So again, we have that strong triangle, the three legs basically of the tripod. One, two, and then three. Okay. Um, so throwing is just the same way as everything else. Uh, the one one thing that I will say is take a sponge perhaps and wet down your bat when you first start. If it's a masonite bat, just give it a nice little sheen of water, not, not overly wet, just dampen it. It helps your clay to stick a little bit. When you're done throwing students, you can just cut it. You can leave it on your bat and go to a different bat if you want. Um, since you don't have separate uh, special wear boards and everything at home, that will make it a little easier for you. When it gets leather hard, then take it off your bat. Now, students, I'm also providing for you a canvas covered wear board. This is so if you do need to wedge, you've got a wedging surface at home. Um, so you're not trying to wedge on your, you know, your good tables or anything. And hopefully that's it. Please shoot me any messages if you uh, have any questions. Now for my non-students, for anyone else who's looking at the Shimpo Aspire wheels, maybe to purchase or, or something, they are lovely wheels. Um, they can't do a huge amount of clay, so I wouldn't plan on doing, you know, uh, a 20 pound vase on this. I think that might tax the motor a little bit. Um, I did have one issue with one of my wheels um, within a couple of years and uh, where the, the little motor, motor had trouble, but Shimpo uh, immediately corrected it and they sent it back to me. Um, there are lots of different tabletop wheels. Shimpo Aspire is one. I have a um, uh, one at home that I have a video on. Uh, it used to be Creative Industries. I forget who, who does that now, but there are uh, several out there that you can find that are small, portable. It's, it's pretty lightweight. I'm not too sure. Maybe I don't know, maybe 25 pounds, something like that. So it's portable enough that, um, it, you know, it's easy to take home. All right. Good luck. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep potting if you can. If you would like to see how you can trim on a tabletop Aspire wheel, I have another video on that. I'll link it in the video description and here. Just look for it to kind of pop up on uh, trimming with an Aspire wheel uh, without a Giffen grip because I do have Giffen grips in my classroom and the kids won't have access to that.